I did this makeup look the other day and got a lot of questions about it on Instagram stories, so I thought I would redo it and film the whole process. So let's get started. Step one, getting the hair off the face. I'll watch makeup tutorials of people with their hair like half covering their face and I'm like, girls, get it off your face. I'm prepping with a little hourglass primer. And then I just got this Ilia eye cream in the mail. I like that you apply it with one side. I don't put a lot of eye cream on during the day. And then you can flip it over and use that side. It almost kind of feels cool. Use that side to rub it in. My lips are feeling dry, so I'm gonna put a little Tatcha lip mask on them while I do the rest of the makeup. I'm using the Hourglass Foundation. This is the Soft Glow. I'm kind of between colors is what I'm learning. So I have 4.5 and 6.5 here. I wish they made a number six in the cool range, but I just can't find it. So I've been doing a little bit of 4.5 and then a little bit of 6.5. And that's like a really nice color. And then I just kind of blend it in. You can see the two colors there. I'm using a foundation brush from Sephora and just doing soft, small circles all around my face and beyond my jawline a little bit. For under the eyes, I've been using the Huda Beauty Concealer. I am in shade Vanilla Swirl 31B, a little goes a long way here. So I just focus on that area, which tends to be the darkest. And then I have some dark spots at the outer part of my eye. And I'll just use this concealer on any dark spots along my jawline or my mouth. And then I use a damp beauty blender to blend it in. One of the worst mistakes you could do is go really heavy with concealer. Instead, get a good concealer that lasts all day and set it. So now I'm setting my under eye concealer with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening for under eye. Just pick up some powder, it's a loose powder with the brush and apply it right to the concealer. This prevents my concealer from creasing. It prevents any tackiness under the eye from your product. So if you have mascara fallout or eyeliner fallout, if you set it with a powder like this, it'll keep that from smudging and smearing under your eyes. All right, let's do the base on the lid. We're doing Painterly by MAC, the old classic. While I let that Painterly set, I'm gonna grab my Wander Beauty eyebrow pencil and fill in my brows. Okay, for the eyes, I'm using the Supreme's Nude Palette from Artist Couture. I like to do trace all over the lid and then I'll put a little silhouette in the crease and then I'll add Create for a lot of depth at the corner. So we're first picking up Trace, and this is just gonna go all over the lid. It kind of takes away the tackiness, too, of that eyelid primer. Now I'll pick up Silhouette. Then with a smaller brush, I'm picking up Create. I'm just focusing this on the outer corner and I'll bring that up to the crease as well. And that's the eye look. There's a lot of blending, but we're just slowly building color for a nice warm brown everyday eye. Then I pick up canvas and I go on top by my brow bone and just kind of soften any edges around the eyeshadow. For eyeliner, I'm using the NYX Epic Smoke Liner the perfect soft brown. If you haven't tried brown eyeliner yet, please try it. It's such a flattering color for so many eye colors and it can make your lashes look longer too. I'm just gonna flick the edges out a little bit. And now for the lower lash line, I'm gonna pick up Silhouette and I'm gonna use the flat part of this eyeshadow brush I have. So it has a little leftover painterly on it. And I'm just gonna bring that under my lash line and it builds a little shadow down there without the intensity of an eyeliner. Okay, mascara is Lancome Lashy Doll. I do one to two coats of this and then I do the hourglass for intensity.
So I just got my lashes lifted and that's why they're so curly and lifted. Um, if you're curious about that, go to the Small Things blog, search Lash Lift in the search bar and you'll find all the information you need. Highly recommend it. It is a game changer for me. So this is two coats of Lancome Lashy Doll and I'm gonna do the Hourglass Unlocked very slowly. This is a very wet mascara, but it delivers impact. Let's contour, shall we? This is the Charlotte Tilbury. Look at this little mini palette. I love it. This is the Bronze and Glow. I go right on the high point of the bone, not below it. Right on it, and then we're just bringing it down to like the colored part of my eye, but not beyond. Not a lot, but just to kind of finish the face. And then we'll try and snatch that jaw, because I do not have a strong jawline. Do I care? Not really, but it kind of finishes the face too. Here's the thing, if you're gonna do a little contour around your jaw, you also need to bring it down your neck just a bit, otherwise it's gonna look like you have a face mask on that doesn't match the rest of your body. Okay, so we're contoured on the face, and then when I think of it, I'll do a very subtle contour of the nose. And I mean very subtle. Patrick Ta blush. I like doing the cream first. This is a Rare Beauty blush brush. I like doing the cream first and then the powder. But you do you, girl. Every time I use this blush, someone tells me I'm doing it wrong because Patrick Ta at one point did the powder first and then the cream. That does not make sense to me. So I'm doing the cream first and then I'm putting the powder on. You get some power with the blush. I like a strong blush moment and that is what we have here. Such a pretty color, isn't it? And now the highlighter. This is new to me, but you've probably seen it around the internet. It's the Rare Beauty highlighter. This is the shade Exhilarate. A little goes a long way, and she's a stunner. I'm just doing this, and that's enough. High point of the cheek. Gosh, can you handle that? Do you remember a couple years ago where I'm like, I'm not a highlighter girl? And I still will forget it some days, but I got this and tried it and was like, oh, I really need to make this a part of my everyday routine. Who doesn't want that sparkle on their face? Then just to balance a little highlight, I bring whatever is left on my brush up to my forehead and on top of my lip. Very little. Okay, for lips, and then we're almost done. Wait, I forgot my lower lashes. What am I doing? Clinique, bottom lash, lower lashes. Let me do that, I'll be right back. Okay, that was a little bit of a mess on the lashes. I have to let that dry and then I'll scratch it off with the spoolie part of an eyebrow product. That's the key. If you get mascara under your eye or on your eyelid, it's gonna take a lot of work, but you have to let it dry and then it'll just scratch off and you won't have to fix your makeup. So while we wait for that to dry a bit, I'm gonna use a Pat McGrath Labs lip liner in Nude Venus. And then an e.l.f. lipstick that I love. This shade is Dirty Talk. That was my jaw. I have this mole right on my lip, so whenever I do lip liner, it looks all wonky. So I either need to go above it, but you can still see it. I know you can. This is why I don't really do lip liner. I've already spent... More, times on my, more time on my lips than I care to. Okay, we're gonna blend it with my finger. All right, let's scratch off my mascara mistake. All right, this is the final look. Let's get these clips out, shake out the hair a little bit. And here is the final look. If you're curious about any of the makeup products I used, I will link them below this video. I'll also include the brushes I used as well, but hopefully you enjoyed it. If there's one thing, my favorite thing of this whole look, it has to be the highlighter, because, I mean, how could it not be? I also love this lipstick, and it's e.l.f., so it's very affordable. Great price point. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to see more makeup tutorials, you can click around my page. I have plenty on there. And also follow me on Instagram. I've got a lot of content there as well. I'm K8 underscore small things.